Hey guys, thank you much for watching the video. If you guys in today's video, I'm going to show you how to force restart your iPad mini 6th generation. Now, force restart is one of the very first troubleshooting steps Apple recommends when it comes to fixing any sort of software issue or any issue in general when you're experiencing with your iPad. And it's really simple to do. And now this method does not delete any of your personal data or affect anything on your iPod. All it does is shuts down the iPad completely and then reloads the code so that if there is any software related issue, it should get resolved by it. So let's show you how to do it. So what you wanna do is locate your volume up and volume down button on your iPad mini 6. So if you look on the top here, the volume up and down buttons are on the top here. And then this big side button, also known as power button, sort of is the one that you use for your touch ID. So here you'll notice here, volume up and down. So if you do volume up and volume down, you can see here the indicator of which one's the volume up and which one's the volume uh, down. So that's volume up and then volume down. So in order to do kind of the reset on the iPad mini 6 here, you're gonna press and release uh, the volume up, which is the closest one here to this big side button. And then you're gonna press and release the volume down button one after another in sequence. And then you'll hold this uh, touch button or the power button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear. At that time, we'll let go of that button. So it's Vol so in real time, it's volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button. And then I look at my iPad and I can see here the iPad is looking for me to slide it to power off, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep on holding the top button here on this side, on the right-hand side, and the screen went completely black, which is good, and the Apple logo reappeared, and I let go of that button. And now I have done what's known as a force restart, which is, again, different from a, any just normal reboot because this one shuts down the iPad completely and then reloads the code. Again, as you can see here, the Apple logo reappears, and then within about 20 to 30 seconds, we should be back to our main screen here. Once you're back to main screen, you're going to be prompted to enter your iPad's passcode, which you'll enter in, and then you'll get back to your iPad. And hopefully, if you did any, have any issues with your iPad, hopefully it is resolved for you. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.